Hello everyone. In this lecture, what we are going to see is uh, an important theorem in the elements of Galois theory heading. Before looking into the theorem, we just recall the definition of what an automorphism of the field means. Okay. By an automorphism of the field K, we shall mean a mapping sigma of K onto itself such that it satisfies the two conditions which are sigma of a plus b equal to sigma of a plus sigma of b and sigma of a b equals sigma of a into sigma of e. This is true for all a comma b belongs to k. If this is true, we will say that sigma is an automorphism of the field k. Okay, this is just the definition. Now we are going to see an important theorem in the section, the elements of Galois theorem. If k is a field, and if sigma 1, sigma 2, sigma n are distinct automorphisms of k, then it is impossible to find elements a1, a2, a n not all 0 in k such that a1 sigma 1 of u plus a2 sigma 2 of u plus etc. a n sigma n of u equals 0 for all u belongs to k. Okay, what they are saying is that if k is a field and we have some n distinct automorphisms of k, uh, then we cannot find the coefficients a1, a2, an such that they are not all 0 but this relation is equal to 0 for all u belongs to k. This is what we are going to prove. We are going to prove this theorem by contradiction process. Okay. Uh, what I have to prove is that there exists. Uh, what we have to prove is that. We cannot find elements a1, a2, an not all 0 such that it satisfies the relation. But we are assuming that there exist a1, a2, an in k not all 0 such that this is equal to 0 for all u belongs to k. Okay. If this is true, then we could find such a relation having a few non-zero terms as possible. On renumbering, we can assume that this minimal relation is this. Okay, what they are saying is that if this is true, I am saying not all a1, a2, an are 0. Which means uh, there are some coefficients which may be 0. Like uh, a1, a2 may be 0 but all the others are not 0. If, if that is so, I am just taking the non-zero coefficients and writing some minimal relation which is a1 sigma 1 of u plus etc. am sigma m of u equals 0. But a1, a2, am are all different from 0. Like they are non-zero for all u belongs to k. Now if I assume m equals 1 then I will get a1 into sigma 1 of u equal to 0 for all u belongs to k. I know that 1 belongs to K. Since K is a field, it contains the multiplicative identity which is 1. Since 1 belongs to K, I will have sigma 1 of 1 equals 1. But here A1 equal to, this, this implies what? In this relation, if I put sigma 1 of 1 equals 1, then I will get a1 equal to 0. This is contradiction to our assumption because we already assumed that a1, a2, am are all different from 0. Uh, and this thing is a thing which is always true in a field like it. Uh, always a multiplicative identity of a field maps into itself when sigma is an automorphism. So this is a contradiction to our assumption. So we assume that m is greater than 1. The automorphisms are distinct. There is an element c belongs to k such that sigma 1 of c not equal to sigma m of c. Why this is true? Because we already assumed that the automorphism sigma 1, sigma 2, sigma n are distinct. Uh, they are distinct means what? Uh, I cannot say sigma 1 of u equals sigma 2 of u for all u belongs to k right uh, this thing I cannot say because it, they, if that is so I, I will say sigma 1 equal to sigma 2 so there exists some element c belongs to k such that sigma 1 of c not equal to sigma m of c this is true since 
C if to u belongs to k. For all u belongs to k. Why? Because k is a field. It is closed under scalar multiplication. So C belongs to k and u belongs to k implies C u belongs to k for all u belongs to k. The relation star. I am saying this is the relation star. This relation holds for C u too, right? Because I have assumed that this relation is true for all u belongs to k. So this relation is also true for C u. So I am putting uh, C u in place of u. I will get a1 sigma 1 of C u, a2 sigma 2 of C u, etc. am sigma m of C u equals 0. And this is true for all u belongs to k. Since sigmas are automorphisms of k, I can separate this, right? I already uh, recalled you the definition of automorphism. There I said that sigma of a b equals sigma a into sigma b. So with the help of that I can replace these things by sigma 1 of c into sigma 1 of u. So after replacing them this into sigma 1. I am multiplying this relation with sigma 1 of c and sub Bracting the, okay, sorry, uh, I have assumed some relation to be star, right? That relation is nothing but sigma 1 of c plus sigma 2 of c plus etc. Sigma m of c equals 0. This, sorry, that is not c, that is u. Sigma 1 of u plus sigma 2 of u plus etc. Sigma m of u equal to 0 for all u belongs to k. That is what the relation I assumed to be star. And with the with that star relation, I am multiplying sigma 1 of c and subtracting it from this relation. I will get uh, the first term will be cancelled out and the second term will be a2 into sigma 2 of c minus sigma 1 of c into sigma 2 of u plus etc. am into sigma m of c minus sigma 1 of c into sigma m of u equal to 0. This is what I will get. If I put bi equals uh, th this is just nothing but uh, a name. This is nothing but a name. Okay. If I replace these things with B1. Sorry, this is B2, right? Because I am taking I is equal to 2. If I replace these things, what I will get is, I will get a shorter relation. Uh, I assume that star is the shorter relation, right? But I am getting some relation which is, uh, shorter than star so this will be a contradiction before saying that i should say each and every bi is non-zero okay uh, why this is non-zero because am is non-zero i already know that because i assumed that uh, that that relation is for the coefficients which are non-zero so am is non-zero and I already assumed that sigma m of c not equal to sigma 1 of c. So this is also non-zero which, which will imply that bm is non-zero. This means what? This is the shorter relation. Uh, we are getting this as the shorter relation and this is shorter than star. So I can say that I made a contradiction. So uh, what I am saying is that there exists then uh, it is impossible to find elements a1, a2, a not all 0 in k such that a1 sigma 1 of u plus a2 sigma 2 of u plus etc. a n sigma n of u equals 0 for all u belongs to k.